remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? A federal judge has ordered Hillary Clinton to sit through a sworn deposition regarding her use of a private email account while serving as Secretary of State. U.S. District Court Judge Royce Lambert, a Reagan appointee, on Monday filed the order for Clinton to appear for a deposition in a five-year-old case brought by the conservative group Judicial Watch. The group filed a Freedom of Information Act request for Clinton's emails pertaining to 2012 attacks on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi, Libya. Hillary has previously said she used a private server to read government emails as a matter of convenience. The FBI investigated Hillary's use of the server to read classified material and in July 2016 recommended against bringing charges in the case. However, in October the same year, the FBI announced it would reopen the investigation after discovering previously unknown emails on the server. The investigation was publicly reopened just days before the election and is widely believed to have bolstered Trump's prospects. Okay, what do y'all want to start? A Reagan appointee filed an order for Hillary Clinton to appear at a deposition in a five-year-old case brought by the conservative watch group Judicial Watch. Can somebody say witch hunt? When are they going to let these damn emails go? Trump stole a whole election. You got Russian interference all over America. What have they done about that? What have they done about Facebook's involvement in manipulating voting during the election? What have they done about that? Nothing. This is why Americans and even people outside of America have such little regard for America's judicial system. It's bias. It's stacked. It's partisan. It's racist. It's greedy. It's arrogant. And whatever other words you want to throw in. It just doesn't work. These politicians are the worst. They work for us, yet they have a mentality like we're just the pawns. And we are, if you really think about it, because we have power that we don't exercise. Whenever you have power, that you refuse to exercise because we refuse to exercise our power. It ain't like we try. We don't even try. We refuse to exercise the power that we have. And when you refuse to exercise power, you are powerless. Whatever Hillary's transgressions are with those emails pales in comparison to the blatant criminal act of destroying evidence after you've been subpoenaed for it. Whatever she's done with those emails pales in comparison to the blatant criminal acts that are taken out every day from the Oval Office. Whatever she's done with those emails pales in comparison to the blatant misuse of robbing and raping and pillaging the American people out of millions of dollars to hang out on a golf course and eat Kentucky Fried Chicken and now and laters and Snickers drinking Diet Coca-Cola while you're using it to flush down 
McDonald's and pizza. Deep pan. It's sad to say, but if you think any of these top politicians, government officials, and corporate crooks will ever be brought to justice, you got another thing coming, and you haven't been paying attention for the last 400 years. I don't know. Perhaps someday a judge, a prosecutor, or some brave American with power and authority to hold these scandalous politicians and others accountable will surface. Someday, perhaps we'll get somebody like that who will stand up to the powers that be and bring them to heel. Let them know that they are not above the law. Someday, <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> that ain't gonna never happen. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?